Welcome to the IMC Studio tutorial. In today's session, I would like to show you how to create a test report. We will begin by going to the panel page in IMC Studio. So let's get started. Now we would like to create a test report. First, we will right click next to the tabs uh, Experiment and Overview, then select Insert Page. Click on Report Portrait View and we name it to Report. Now you can see that we have created a report page. As a side note, the report page uh, print format will be set to the same size as your printer settings. Now we can display our analog channels. In the data browser, using drag and drop, we can bring our strain gauge channel over and display it in a standard curve window. We'll make a few adjustments to the size and its location on the page. We would also like to display our spectra channel in the curve window. Also adjust its size a little bit to match. Uh, then for example, we can add our firm logo by opening the properties box and selecting the appropriate logo. Here we're going to choose our standard IMC. We would uh, also like to add a text field for inserting a title for our report. We can bring the text field over and here we will name it Vibration Analysis. Then using the uh, properties box, we can also make some changes. Maybe for instance, we'll make the font a little bit larger to make our report a little, a little more professional. Adjust the size. And as you can see, it really doesn't take much time to create a very professional looking report and you can do it with very little effort or expertise. Now, when we once again start the measurement, you can see that the current measurement data also appears in the report. Now I'd like to show you how to create this report automatically. To do this, we'll be using the IMC Studio Sequencer plugin. With the sequencer, Using drag and drop, we can create a complete control process. This means, for example, we can use the IMC sequencer to automatically create a finished report after the measurement is finished running. Now we will switch over to the IMC Studio sequencer plugin. As a note, you must make sure that you have selected the complete view. There are several ways to do this, but in our demonstration, we will simply choose it from the drop down under the Extras tab. Without selecting this view format, the plugin selection on the left side of the page, including the Sequencer plugin, would, would be hidden. After changing to the complete view format, we can now switch over to the Sequencer. On the right hand side of the page, we have a list of available commands that we can bring to the left side per drag and drop in order to create a process sequence. The first thing we will do is bring the Open Experiment Start Measurement folder over. Next, under the selection User Interaction, we can find the command Browse in Workspace. We will also bring it over. Now, if we click on the drop down next to our command, the Workspace dialog box will open and we can select to work in the report page of our panel plugin where our report is located. Then click OK. Now we will bring over the command export panel page, that is our report page, over to our list. We will again open the dialog box and choose to save it as a PDF. Then we will choose where to save it. We type in the name to save it here. Here we will type in report. 
Lastly, we will select the report page of the panel plugin for these commands to take effect. Then click OK to save the changes. Now we will change back to the panel plugin. We go back to the experiment page where our experiment is displayed and choose to start the sequencer. This means that the measurement stops to run will give the tuning fork a small tap. Because we changed the duration time of the measurement to last for five seconds, after its completion, as you can see, we are automatically led to the report page. We can now take a look in our desktop where we chose to save the report and here we can find our report PDF. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention and stay tuned for the next IMC Studio tutorial.